Hey guys. Sorry I haven't been on the channel very much lately. I've got a few things going on that I'm trying to get resolved. Um, I don't talk about my house on the channel because it's quite irrelevant to motorcycles. But I have a very old house. Tracked it back to about 1890 as far as county records go. And it's needing a lot of work. It's an old wood frame home in the south. And I work on it from time to time, but you know, I got a full-time job, so I have to save money and save time to do it. But this is what I got going on today. It's the biggest undertaking so far that I've had with the house. So let me give you a little shot of it. All right, what we're looking at here is the uh, foundation sill plate. This house sits on concrete piers. Now, it's a two-story house. It's very big, very old, very heavy. And this beam that goes across the bottom that sits on the concrete pillars is toast. You guys are not helping. Get out of the way. Leave it. Anyway, so what I'm doing today, I'm going to be jacking this house up going underneath there let me see if i can get a little better shot so i've torn down the insulation that's uh, up under the floor but those there that's one of the floor joists that goes from the back of the house to the front of the front of the house a 30 foot span i'm going to support those there's one there there's one right here so there's another one or two that go to the outside corner of the house. I'm gonna go down and get a four by four probably, span those joists and use a couple of bottle, of jack, bottle jacks to lift them up off this main beam, which is completely rotted out from about two feet in from the corner all the way down clear into this corner. It's a big job. I've cut out some of this wood to try to figure out what's going on with it. Figure out where all the rot is. You know, I guess when you're gonna be dealing with wood that's well over a hundred years old, you're gonna get some of this. Um, so anyway, my plan is to get the weight up off the sill plate, this part right here the sill beam get the weight up off that i gotta support the outside wall probably do that with a couple of uh two by sixes span those openings this is not a traditional structure where there's a two by four stud every 16 inches there's a beam that looks kind of like this a big fat beam that runs up the house uh, the whole distance, as a matter of fact, goes all the way up to the roof and down. And the joists tie into it. You can see here that the joist is notched. Somebody in the past has tried to jack it up. You can see right there where they have used some wood to prop it up because this sill beam was rotting out. Uh, I can don't think I can show you, at least not very well. It's kind of hard. It's all rotted out in there. So I'm going to replace that with dimensional lumber. About the best I can get right now is six by six. I don't know what size this was before it rotted and cracked in half. I can put my hand, but originally it was here two out here you know one piece um, anyway i'm not even sure what i'm trying to say but i am going to be busy on this maybe i'll give you some updates as this project goes on and if i'm able to successfully get it supported and replaced without dropping the house on my head which is a very real possibility get out of my way but anyhow more motorcycle content will be coming as long as I am not in the dirt. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for checking in. Hey, Zep. Get out of there.